Hey, I'm one. Mike Everett. Josh Freeman. Skylar Green. Golden Freeman. Sir. Chris Hall. Glenn Quagmire. Ian. Come on. There it was. <sighs> Now, if you get a gun, you're obviously going to need like a gun cabinet and a, uh, 
a place to put the gun that's safe so that like a kid or something can't get hurt. But the uh, the second thing you would need is safety. And this on the on the uh, the TV here, I have places listed uh, that you can go to get your uh, your training for the gun or whatever. And uh, here's some from Brandon, and then I have some in Tampa that give out the courses. The courses are um, the courses all together. It's the uh, it's referred to as the Refuse to Be a Victim Seminar. I guess and it's sponsored by the NRA, the National Rifles Association, of course. And you got you got to put in hours for certain things like rifle handling and then pistol and then how to load the gun and should properly maintain it and just to be safe. And if you're going to get a gun, you might want to think about the safety precautions and how to take care of your gun. Um, if you're looking to buy a gun, I would suggest checking out the, uh, yeah, as he shared with the uh, Victory. Yeah, or I would suggest taking it. What's up? It's the cheapest place around. Was the, the, the Tampa Gun Show. And you can find this. If these, I, I have the time here for the, the next one coming up. This is the soon, the, the closest one in Tampa. But if you can't make it to that one, there's the uh, suncoastgunshow.com. Or you can go to that and it'll list the times of all the areas having gun shows. And it's probably the best bet you got for finding it. So, uh, okay, and once again, let's, let's redo that old I mean, the story that I started out with. If you could cut your cell phones off, that'd be great. Um, okay, so you, you hear the front window break this time. It's, it's another dark night, but this time you're armed, and you hear the alarm go off. Sure. Now, let's say that the power's out, it's been out for a while, there's been some crisis, and your security system has run out of juice, sure. even the backup battery. You've got a dog at least to fall back on. So at least your dog's there barking, and hopefully by then the person would be scared away. But even if that doesn't uh, help, then you've got the gun next to your pillow or in your gun cabinet, whatever that you're, you're ready to, to grab and pull the person full of lead. And that's... Uh... And before I finish this, I'd like to point out that uh, there's been a lot of speculations about gun bans in different places and things. And, uh, I know that Washington, D.C. has followed this route and placed gun bans, and their crime rate has risen due to it. So I would suggest that if it does go to court, you have the legislation, if you have the chance to uh, oppose it, then to just to do everything you can to stop it. That we do not want that. Because when, um, like, we, we learn in martial arts that if, let's say, you're going through a parking lot or whatever, and you're going through the parking lot looking like a, uh, a dork, or something, and you're just kind of like, and you just like, okay, funny, and you just kind of like have your head low. You have no self-esteem, no confidence, and you can tell that the criminal is going to sniff you out in a heartbeat. That you're some loser that doesn't know what they're doing. But if you look like confident, and you've got your your gun or whatever, you've got something there, and you're you've got self-esteem and security, you're at a much greater chance of scaring off the criminal than not targeting. Them. So you're saying a gun gives you confidence? It can okay. It gives you, it gives the, uh, the perp more of an uh, incentive not to attack you, at least. When it has to be concealed, you cannot see the weapon at all in any spot on your body. You cannot have any boulders, or you will go to jail. Let's keep the ball. That's the, that's the... Well, this is about home security. Back to the storage. Amen. Let's, let's end but, the question um, at the end. Okay, we'll but, okay, are there any... I'll, I'll close with that. Are there any, um, <laughs> any questions? Okay, well, the economy in the state it's in right now, and you get a big, nasty dog, how are you going to feed that dog? Whatever becomes Walmart. a around. I mean, I own four dogs, and I can barely feed them. Get a job? Of course, that's <laughs> actually another thing that Walmart yes. has problems <laughs> yeah. right now. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. If you can't afford it, I would suggest not getting a dog. But then I can't protect myself. Get a gun. Get a gun. That's more so. You don't, have, you don't have a house yet, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you can, you right can get a, a 9 millimeter from Tampa. Okay. One uh, according to your uh, expertise, which one of these would you consider as the uh, best alternative? Security system. Why? There's, uh, most likely, I, would, I don't think that your power would go out. If you're squeamish and scared of handling a gun, I'd say the security system is probably the most cost efficient. You're not going to have to feed it or put bullets in anything. But you have to put it in Depends on what system you have. I guess with a uh, Smith and Wes, Winston, like 500, do the job. Like, I don't know what kind of gun I should <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough for questions. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out tonight. Uh, and enjoy the pizza you didn't get. Uh, see you. That's what I thought. So I got a team of 357. Good job. Best speech ever.